How to create login page in Google Sites. Now I'll just head on to sites.google.com and what we're going to do right over here is to start a new site with our blank page right here. So let's click on this plus icon and let's wait for this to load. And now we have our specific site for our login page. Now if we click on the pages tab right here, it, we currently have a home page on our pages. So for example, this is for a community membership login page. So I'm just going to type in a random name, something like that. And we can customize this as well. For example, I'm going to, I want this to be the font of our title and change up the font size so that it is sized to my liking and then we can add a new page right here under the pages tab by hovering on through this plus icon and we can click on add new page so tap on that and then we can create a new page for our members so i'm just going to type in members i'm done and this is for our members page again you can customize the font and everything on this page for example i'm gonna have it same as my title page font and resize it so we're going to customize this members page we can go to the insert tab let's add a text box and add something like welcoming the members to your community we can change this alignment as well for example i want it to be centered and to be bold and italic and i want to add an image as well so you can click on image right here and click on so upload or select if you have a current image downloaded to your device just click on upload or i'm just going to click on select so i can browse through the images on google sites so i'm just going to search for random cafe to my members page just for us to differentiate it that this is our members page some text so that we can differentiate it later on that this page should only be accessed by members now we're, go we're going back to our home page just click on the pages tab and click on home and this is our home page right here and now what we're going to do to create a login page is we need to have a tool for the login section so i have one right here it is called off pro so we have to go on to offpro.com it will help us uh, set up a member registration login system it gives page protection so no one can enter the website unless a member or a visitor has a membership so you can password protect your pages from unauthorized access in just few minutes no any special software programming is needed so you can just we can just use this specific tool right here and what we're going to do is use the free Authpro account so it is on this section of the page we can click on sign up right here and now we want to set up the wizard to configure your account so click on this option and click on continue now just fill in your information your username password confirm your password your name email website title website url and your language so just type in all those information so we need a website title i'm just going to add in a title to this site and paste it in as our file as our site name And we need to add in our website URL as well. So to do that, let's go back to Google Sites, click on Publish at the top right. And this is how our web address looks like. So we can just copy this one and paste it into AuthPro. Make sure to get rid of spaces so that it is a valid website URL. So I'm just going to add in the language and I'm 
gonna opt to not subscribe to AuthPro email updates. And once you're done filling in your information, just click on create account right here. Now our account is created, we have to proceed to set up wizard so we can further set up our account. Now we will be asked to select a new member registration option. So you can opt to want your members to register for free and access my members area. Access your members area when they verify their email address. Manually verify members. Um, you want your members to pay to get access. And uh, she will log in a password for members manually and no self-registration allowed. So I'm going to offer this option right here. I want my members to register for free and access my members area. Now, if you have selected one, just click on next right here. Now, these are the information that the members need to input on the registration form. So it looks good so far. And we can um, configure it right here as well if they should be required and editable and it looks great so just click on next right here now we need to configure urls and here the first one is to enter our members area url now let's go back to google sites now we can click on this drop down button beside the publish option and click on view published site so we can see the members page right here just click on the site above so we can copy the URL and paste it in the members area URL. So again, this is our members page. You have copied the URL and pasted, pasted it into the members area URL, which is asked by AuthPro. And these other options are the failed login URL. This is optional because we can leave it empty and uh, they will show a default login form here. This is optional as well, the protected page authorization failed URL, and we can leave it empty, and they will use a failed login URL above, as well as the logout URL, it is optional. Now for the hide URL option, let's select this option, I want to display my own website address for members area. So now we're done with this page, just click on next right here. And then we can add some members to our account so that we can test our login form later on. So I'm just going to type in these um, information so you can type in a similar one as well and just click on next once you have added some members to your account. Now we are almost finished and we need to complete configuring our account. So this is what it looks like. And then let's focus on this number five point right here. We protect our members area pages. And in order to protect your pages from unauthorized access, we need to paste this code below to all our pages, which you want to be accessible by registered members only. So now we have to copy this code right here. Control C. Let's go back to Google Sites over here and make sure that we are at our members page. We go to insert right here, click on embed and paste in Click on embed code and paste in the code that we have. And it looks like this. Click on insert. And this is how the login form looks like once we enter the code that is provided by AuthPro. Now let's click on publish at the top right and you will see your current draft and the currently published page right here. Click on publish at the top right. And our site should be published successfully. We can view it right here. And as you can see, we see a login form right here and we can test our member account that we set up a while ago. Enter. And since we have logged in, it looks like this. So that member should be able to access this page and its content once they have logged in. That is basically how AuthPro um, looks like. We can proceed to account manager right here and see the amount of members, the amount of members online. And we can also opt to upgrade our account and set up 
our account more if you want to change up some settings we have login form registration form and all these links right here so that it is all organized so that is how you can basically create login pages in google sites let us know if this video helped you out and if you have any questions just drop them down below thanks for watching and have a great day